So let's flip back to page 59 so we can read step 11. Thought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him. Praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. Okay, back here on page 85, paragraph 2, page 85, paragraph 2. It says, much has already been said about receiving strength, inspiration, and direction from him who has all knowledge and power. Notice the authors don't say that he has a lot of knowledge and power. <laughs> it says he has all knowledge and power. Now, if I have a resource available to me that has all knowledge and power, what would be the best place to go for direction? <laughs> that source. Exactly. You know what I find really ironic in these rooms? And I have had this experience so many times. The very thing that has caused me more difficulty in pain and suffering has been my own head. And you know what's really interesting about that? I get a problem. You know the first I go, place I go for a solution is my head. <laughs> now, is, is that insane or what? The thing that caused me more suffering and pain and humiliation when I came into these rooms... The old ideas, beliefs, and attitudes and perceptions that simply did not work, that is the first place I go for a solution when I have a problem. So, if I'm truly self-delusional, we read that, didn't we? Back in the second and the third step, that we are driven by a hundred forms of fear, self-delusion, self-pity, and self-seeking. Correct? So, if I'm truly driven by self-delusion, how am I going to know if I'm self-deluded? I'm not going to know. That's like going to a fish and asking it, what is water? The fish will say, well, you know, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> Think about the weight of that statement. If I'm self-delusional, how am I going to know if I'm self-deluded? I'm not going to know. That's why it's absolutely essential that this alcoholic maintain the strict disciplines of 10, 11, and 12. Can I rely on my interpretation, my perception of my own experience? Maybe I need other people. Maybe I need access to a God of my understanding so that I can seek this knowledge and power. Okay, then the author is going to say, if we have... It, whoa, there's that word again. If we have carefully... It doesn't say if we follow directions. If we have carefully followed directions, we have begun to sense the flow of His Spirit into us. What a promise. To some extent, we have become God conscious. We have begun to develop this vital sixth sense. But we must go further, and that means more action. Now, how many of you have gone to meetings and you've heard somebody speak and they picked a topic? I'd like to hear your experience with your sixth sense. It's right there in the book. I mean, the authors are telling us we have begun to develop this vital. You know what vital means? Essential for life. So am I going to be able to live in survival? I'm not talking about not drinking. I'm talking about living here. I'm talking about being free. Being free from my own mind, my own fears, inadequacy, self-doubts, etc., etc., etc. This vital sixth sense. So this sixth sense is absolutely essential for my life and sobriety. I'm encouraging all of you that are experiencing this vital success that you take that back to your meetings and start talking about it. Start sharing with people your own experience with your vital sixth sense. But we must go further, and that means more action. My 20 years of sobriety is not going to keep me spiritually fit. Now, the truth is, I don't want to do these disciplines. I would love to be able to sit at home with my 20 years of sobriety and flip the old, whatchamacallit, from channel to channel and drink my Sprite and be spiritually fit. I would love to be able to do that. But that's not what my experience shows me. Am I willing to do the disciplines? Yes. Why do I do them? A couple of reasons. Not because I'm a truth seeker. There are no truth seekers in Alcoholics Anonymous. We're comfort seekers. That's why I maintain the disciplines. Because I enjoy the comfort, the peace of mind, the serenity, the freedom, the reprieve from alcohol. 
being in a position of neutrality, safe and protected. That's why I do the disciplines on a regular basis, not because I want to do them. It's because I enjoy feeling comfort, and that's what these disciplines do for me. Let's read on. Step 11 suggests prayer and meditation. We shouldn't be shy on this matter of prayer. Better men than we are using it constantly. It works if we have the proper attitude and work at it. 